Hello to everybody, Future Trend channel is uh, glad to welcome all of our subscribers. Uh, today is 25th of March 2019. We are ready to present our report uh, regarding how to trade major currencies in the current environment. And let's be truth, uh, at the moment the current environment is really very risky. I mean that risk aversion spreading at the moment all around the financial markets, all around the globe. And that means that the yen or, for example, the uh, fr uh, Swiss francs, uh, usually a kind of safe haven currencies, are in strong demand at the moment. And uh, we told a lot of times before that in the case of a real kind of uh, global economic downturn and um, fears of impending recession, the Japanese yen uh, will uh, rise especially in such kind would rise especially in such kind of environment and uh, um, today is not an exclude from this kind of rule and uh, as you could see let's see uh, for example the euro yen which is a good uh, kind of uh, characteristic of such kind of uh, trading and now uh, you could see that euro yen uh, lost a lot uh, during previous trading session and at the morning moment probably um, is under a kind of consolidation correction uh, but uh, anyway in case of uh, further downturn in economic expectations in a uh, case of uh, rising risk aversion um, fears for sure the euro yen should further uh, should further go to the downside today is by the way is a day of publication of the german if a business climate index at the moment is a kind of a real kind of danger for the euro dollar or for the euro yen or for some other euro crosses especially after the sliding we witnessed during previous trading session as you know Manufacturing PMIs uh, as well as services PMIs from the Eurozone countries came in much below expectations. Most of them um, went below the level of 50 that's uh, divided the, the contraction territory from improvement. And in such kind of conditions, it's not a surprise to see the, uh, uh, the euro finally weaker. Of course... Uh, um, further kind of next um, kind of economic numbers uh, that came from the United States in the form of United States PMI's report also came in below expectations and inverted uh, inverted um, kind of uh, situation we uh, witnessed in uh, United States uh, uh, government debt when uh, for example uh, three month United States government papers inverted against 10 here uh, that's uh, we've seen that the first time uh, since 2007 and uh, for sure the market further uh, plummeted in into a kind of risk aversion fears taking the dollar itself uh, to their downside against uh, uh, such kind of currencies like uh, Swiss franc or Japanese yen uh, let's see how the situation will evolve today. Uh, today, of course, once again, a lot of will depend on the German if a business climate. In case of also here, the bad result, uh, the euro dollar as well as some other euro crosses uh, can go further, further to the uh, to the south. Let's wait for the uh, for this kind of economic numbers. As regarding the technical picture. Uh, the euro dollar is trading just above 113, uh, touched a, a level of 112.73 uh, during previous trading session. And uh, of course, uh, this type of currency is under the pressure at the moment. And uh, what else? Dollar yen, um, it's not a surprise to see it lower. We prefer to sell any kind of rallies in this type of currencies you could see from our report we are ready to sell the pet 11020 we are uh, we will uh, read to existing to a such kind of position at 11090 with the stop above 11125 once again where is a 
200 daily moving line. It's around 111.43. The pair is below of this line. We broke below immediate kind of uptrend line. All in all, the dollar yen at the moment is looking quite weak and we suggest that it's time to enter a fresh short positions in case of uh, 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 uptick in case of upticks in the currency as regarding uh, the cable cable is a little bit supported because of a reprieve European Union leaders gave Theresa May but it's a reprieve of just uh, two weeks during uh, this uh, time uh, Theresa May should decide uh, whether she can um, take it's uh, uh, she can take uh, her Brexit deal through the uh, English through the Britain Parliament finally, or um, she will ask she will ask for a more prolonged kind of a uh, Brexit negotiation process. Uh, probably um, it could uh, take even a, a one year period. All in all, the situation is a little bit. Uh, better uh, from the risk sentiment for the cable right now, but overall risk uh, ev evasion sentiment should also um, should also um, pressure uh, to pressure the currency to the downside in such kind of environment. And the dollar Swiss, we uh, used an opportunity of touching the level of 0.9970 during previous trading session to enter a new kind of short position in the currency but uh, as you could see the Swiss franc is especially weak at the moment also on the crosses that's why uh, we uh, we will uh, close our um, new kind of a long position in the euro Swiss in case of another downturn below 11220 so we put a stop loss at the entry level uh, for those uh, looking for a kind of uh, for a kind of uh, reaching the lower band of the existing um, uh, existing channel kind of trading band of the euro Swiss, uh, probably the level to watch is one thirteen eighty. Uh, let's take uh, let's put it in our uh, framework. So all in all. Uh, we are in such kind of uh, situation. Thank you for all of your attention, our dear subscribers. Once again, our report, our uh, technology of how to trade major currencies in the current environment. Take a lead on our updating. See you tomorrow the same time. Take care and bye-bye for now.